to Common Sense Dream Interpretation. My name is Paula and this is chapter 16 of our series. So today I'm going to teach you how to interpret your own dreams. And the way I do this is I start with an example. I'm going to start with a dream. I'm going to determine the symbols, interpret them using the universal language of mind. And um, as you watch my videos, you will learn that process of how I interpret my own dreams and how I help you interpret your dreams. I learned this from the School of Metaphysics. It's called Universal Language of Mind. It's the oldest language known to man. It's a picture language. And to me, it's such a common sense way of determining what a dream means. All I have to do is determine the function of that symbol used by mankind, translate that over to a spiritual language of mind, which is a language of dreams. It's the language of function. So here we go. This is the dream. I was standing in the middle of the road. Lions and tigers were running down the road. I was drinking a beer. I looked down on the road and beer cans were everywhere. <laughs> we have a lot to cover in this dream. So let's go ahead and get started. And the way I do that is I get the symbols. I write them down and their meanings. And this way I have like um, a guide, an outline per se. And um, especially if I'm doing a long dream, this helps me kind of organize my thoughts. So anyway, our first one is road. Now a road in a dream symbolizes dreamer's direction in life the path the dreamer takes to achieve goals. Animals in a dream, because they work off of instinct, they're um, symbolized with habits. Now I've done several videos on animals so go check those out. The next one is beer. Now beer is alcohol. It interferes with conscious will anything from escaping life to physically unable to function. So we're going to put this all together. This is going to form our interpretation. Now remember most of the time dreams are relating to thoughts or actions the days right before your dream. I know sometimes they can be future, sometimes past, but most of the time they have to do with the days right before your dream. You have the feedback from your inner self. So I asked this man, what was he thinking? Where was his thought pattern um, the days before the dream? Where was he putting his attention before? <laughs> he told me, you might would guess by this dream, that he told me that he had been very lazy, that he should have been working. By the way, he's working from home because of COVID. And he's been having a hard time self-directing. He has, he's had negative thoughts, he told me about COVID. And um, I tell you, I'll show you how this dream is reflecting that by having it staged in the road, first of all. And since that's a symbol that has to do with goals and directions in life, we see that he's just standing there. He's going nowhere, drinking alcohol. Now the alcohol is very significant in this dream because it gives the dreamer the visual of what he was doing the day before, which was nothing. He was not focused. He let negative thoughts guide him. And then we come to the animals. Animals in a dream are habits. So I asked him, have you been doing this before? He told me, <laughs> yes, many times he has, he admitted. He's let his own inability to function the way he should become a habit. And these animals are not little bunnies either. They are big and dangerous, which tells him that he has let it control his life. Now, he was kind of surprised that his inner self has given him a message. And that message, as you might would think, is, hey, buddy, what are you doing with your life? Maybe you need to, you know, redirect it, rethink how you're doing things. 
<laughs> now, the best way to teach yourself to recall your dreams is to put a pen and paper next to your bed, and the instant you wake, write your dream down. I think this is especially important right now in our history because of COVID. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. The, um, we're all working and playing differently. Um, we're looking at people differently. Um, we are, uh, our children are adapting as children do. And um, there's so much information that's all sketchy and it's all over the place. So it's hard to, um, to actually know what is true and what is not true. <laughs> so ah, perfect time to develop a meditation practice a concentration practice, and remember your dreams. So thanks for joining me on Common Sense Dream Interpretation. What is really important will be revealed by your dreams. And um, please go to my website, dreaminterpretationcoach.com. Thank you.